All right, we're going old school here, folks. It's It's been a while since I've done it like this, but I should probably also do the intro like I used to. Hello, nerds. Anyways. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at this new banner. I, I, I know one character that Jake's really excited to see, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's see how this goes. I'm very sick. Oh, God. Feel better, Jake. Feel better. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> All right. So this is again one of the culture banners, which I think is honestly a pretty cool one. Yeah. And I, right off the bat, we uh, have Lynn. Miss Hates Brigands. <laughs> I must embody the flame tribe's blazing will to fight. Honestly, I saw this unit and I kind of thought, I, I thought of the whole like Attack on Titan meme of like, hates Titans, turns into a Titans, hates ghouls, turns into a ghoul, <laughs> hates brigands, turns into a brigand. I know, right? Just, oh my goodness. Well, f fair enough, but now we have another Lin. This is what, which, what number of Lin, I think? I'm trying to do all the counting of it. Eight? Uh, this would be Lin eight, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not that bad at counting Lins, at least, so that's good. But uh, this time, Lance unit. All right, well, fair enough. Yeah, Lance infantry, that's kind of rare in and of itself, and compared to, like, all of the other Lins, this seems to be a more defensively statted unit. Yeah. So I'm not sure how well it'll fit in the current... Uh, Paradigm of Fey. It's it's really interesting to see. So we have Firelight Lance that has Accelerate special, typical slaying effect. If unit's HP is over twenty five percent, it will grant you know Omni stats plus five to every stat because of course to unit deal um, deals damage equal to fifteen percent of foe's attack. And also if unit speed is greater than or equal than uh, two than foe's speed minus four, uh, inflicts special cooldown charge minus one. So ah, great. Um, at the start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 20, I, all right, grant special cooldown count minus one to unit and allies within four spaces of unit after combat. Oh, yeah, so oh my goodness, ah, uh, that is just a mouthful. It's, it's an interesting weapon that I think might have been better served on an armor unit, but yeah, I, I don't. I mean, it's very supporty in a way, you know. It's, yeah, it's, it's weirdly, I don't think she's going to be a good tank, but I think the best value she'll have is essentially as a lance infantry stealth using the Peshkaz like AoE special pulse down. Yeah, it's it's really really interesting. We also have a yeah. new special as well in Godlike Reflexes just to kind of go along with that, and that all has to do with speed as well. If unit speed is greater than or equal to foe's speed minus four, and unit special is ready, or unit special triggered during combat deals damage equal to 15% of unit speed when special triggers reduces damage from foe's attack by 40%. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's... I feel like this is probably going to be inheritable. This doesn't seem to me to be like a weird, oh, you get two preferred ability, but maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I think mean, this is going to be a vital aster situation. Yeah, it, it might very well be like that because we do have, you know, the A skill, which is already going to be a preferred skill, and yep. and the weapon. So it, it's really strange how we're starting to see this more and more, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm of... always down for more inheritables. I think that's only ever good for Faye. Yeah, that's so... a good thing because... This may, you know, it's it's the whole thing of, you know, uh, rising tide lifts all boats kind of thing. Yeah, it so. just gives more options. It brings older units back into the, well, maybe not back into the meta, but, it, you know, it gives more options for un units that are a little past their prime. Yeah, and it allows I think the... the go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I, just, I think the best thing that you'll probably get out of godlike reflexes is having it proc on enemy phase and then Lin doubling, essentially getting two counts of a 15% speed boost. Yeah. And it, it, it will be interesting. We, it, we should have more, you know, specials that do speed, so it's at least decent. Hopefully it's inheritable. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what units would want this, though. Uh, uh, maybe difficult question. Maybe Hitari Carla? Maybe. Oh, God, Hitari Carla. I actually witnessed someone try to uh, plus 10 them recently. That was that was yeah, fun. It's a Good unit. I mean, another Lance Infantry. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Verdict of Sakai. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Do you want to handle this one? Sure. So they're trying to essentially side grade Laws of Sakai 2 while fitting the more enemy phase archetype of this Lin. Yeah. So if units within four spaces of an ally, you get an Omni boost that is equal to the number of allies within four spaces times four. So if you happen to have like the entirety of your team, your three members in your 
all three members of your team within four spaces, you'll get an Omni Boost of plus 12, which is pretty good. And if your special is ready, or if your special triggered before or during combat, you deal plus five damage. <laughs> and when you deal damage to foe during combat, it restores seven HP. So Yay. in terms of like existing skills, you get the true plus five damage of like, I guess, flashing blade four and you get soul lance effects. Yep. Uh, who has soul lance again? I kind of got it. I think it's Forsyth. Yeah. Uh, is it? Huh. I think so. Oh, jeez. It's I just, I, I never got him, I don't think so. I can't say for sure, but uh, it's such a such a strange mixture of abilities. I, I'm really not sure about the B skill, Shield Pulse. Well, I think but... the B skill is essentially meant to get an infinite loop of her special. Yeah. But... Which we know what Shield Pulse 3 does. We know what Shield Speed Smoke 4 does. So yep. I think the way they're probably going to want to do this is Shield Pulse will make sure your special's ready at the beginning of combat. An enemy attacks Lin, bringing you down to... By one, I guess. Yeah. So, well, actually, your special will be ready. So, an enemy would attack Lin. You would get the forty percent reduction, and then you would attack twice, getting the fifteen percent bonus to your damage, and your special will be ready again because it's slaying and it's effectively only a two cooldown. So, so long as you get it down to like be ready at the start of combat with Shield Pulse three, uh, you can essentially always have godlike reflexes up, as long as you're doubling and. To be fair, you have to be able to double to get the effect of godlike reflexes. Yeah, I, God, it's going to be an interesting unit to see when it comes to Lin, at least. Yeah, I just, I don't, it's similar to other infantry omni tanks and where I, I think this would have been a very, very good archetype for a unit before save skills. Nowadays, oh, uh, skills I just, up. I don't think there is a place for infantry omni tanks and depending on her statting, she may or may not be a good player phase unit. I mean, she's probably gonna have a lot of attack and speed, but most likely uh, I don't really know where she's going to fit. If I'm being honest, I can't really see this as a unit that you would need to pull. I, I can't think of too many units off the cuff that would be able to use godlike reflexes super well, but I mean, at least the art's nice. I like Cubone. Yep. Or Q Cubone. Cubone. <laughs> Cubone. Ah, uh, yes. The Pokemon <laughs> decided to start drawing some art. That's great. <laughs> yeah, they did resplendent Lin, which I like. Anyway, Moose Bell. Hooray. Moose Bell. Our Shonen protagonist. God, his his art is always over the top, but I, I'm here for it. Let's go. I with think it. the outfit fits him a little better. Yeah. Uh, so this time around, he's still all about attack for the most part, so... <laughs> I mean, Seems we that way. Yeah. So Breath of Fire, slaying effect as always. Um, <laughs> and also, if special cooldown uh, count is at its maximum value, grant special cooldown minus one. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, we have the typical uh, attack plus six and inflicts attack minus six on foe, as well as guaranteed follow up attacks and reduces percentage of foe, uh, foe's attack non special. Um, good lord. Reduces damage by X percent, skills by 50 percent. Example, a foe with a reduced damage by 45 percent skill would reduce damage by 23 percent instead. If foes, and then of course, you know, the adaptive damage from the dragon uh, yep. weapon. Nothing too crazy, at least on that last part, but. Yeah, he seems like the type that's just going to want to bully you through in player phase if you don't have no follow up, especially yep. if a new skill that's coming in is B. Oh, yeah. Now we have Dragon's Wrath, which was previously ended off... I think that's on, what, Halloween Sothis? Or... Uh, Halloween Sothis... Uh, I, I want to say maybe Duo Tiki Ninian. I don't actually remember. I don't run a lot of dragons. I, I God, I don't know either, but we also have... We have a new form of it, the fourth version, of course, which reduces damage from foe's first attack during combat by 25%. If unit's attack is better than foe's res, unit's first attack deals damage equal to 25% of unit's attack minus foe's res during combat. So, I, I, you know, it seems like there's a lot of at least negation of reduction when it comes to his weapon as well as an additional effect with the uh, B skill. He's definitely going to be a attacking bully. I mean, this doesn't seem like a huge upgrade to Dragon's Wrath 3. For those who forgot, uh, for the most part, the upgrade Dragon's Wrath 3, 4 has over 3 is that Dragon's Wrath 4 is dual phase, and it gets a 5% bonus to, like, what is currently 25% was previously 20%. Yeah. So this will allow Moose Ball to be dual phase. Pretty much. I mean, it, it's nice to have. And then we also have Domain of Flame, which is always really nice just to have as his C skill, because, well... 
He's moose. Yeah, it's it's simultaneously selfish and supportive, which yeah. anytime a unit has supportive capability, they will age better. Definitely. I mean, he's he seems to be pretty cool. Uh, that's that's not mostly a joke about him being fire, but hey. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, I like I like him well, pretty well here. I, I think the flame tribe outfit makes him look far less stupid than his original outfit. <laughs> his original outfit looks like he's a reject from like a Shonen Jump manga that got canceled like five issues in. Oh my god! I mean, yeah, he just definitely does that. Oh, and next up. A character. Hey, look! It's the star of a banner. <laughs> Except, no, sorry, no, not quite. I mean, hey, at least, honestly, at least she's ripped. Yeah, she, she always is, though, isn't it? I mean, that's kind of oh, well, not so ripped when it comes to actual. <laughs> <laughs> I think her last, her original unit's art was. I think people kind of had a bit of a fit, given that she was more. Her art was more stinted to be like cheesecakey rather than strong. I think her chest wrap was kind of meant to be... Uh, she was definitely showing off a lot more... Uh... She was under boob. She was yeah. under boob the character, which like, <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that, but I imagine the people that Rinka was meant to appeal to probably didn't appreciate that. I mean, and now she's just kind of here. That's that's pretty much the thing. She's the four-star unit of this banner, obviously. Um, yeah. Funnily yeah. enough, I think it was the same thing with Tharja. Like, hey, it is me, the... Guide to culture. I will be the do I'll be the demote here. Hooray! Oh goody. Uh, yep. So we have a new in inheritable weapon, at least with flame goodbye. Uh, which, yeah, sure. I'll, I mean, that, that could be useful. I, it's still not the most amazing thing, but hey. Uh, why it not? honestly could be pretty good. Like, yeah. I'm thinking Skaha, for example, would make really good use of this because you inflict a penalty, and this is an uncapped penalty, mind. Yeah. It's an uncapped penalty to on the foe's attack and defense equal to 20% of your unit's defense. So, like, let's say that, like, somehow you're able to get to, like, 60 defense. Yeah. That's... That, that'll that'll 12, be a... That's like a 12 debuff to attack and defense. Yeah, like, that's, that's a, a lot. Decent, that's a decent disadvantage for the foe, I would say. I'm just... Yeah, and I mean, if you add the plus five that the weapon gives naturally, it's... I think I've you just... You could potentially defense stack. I think I've just kind of grown a bit, like... Uh, <laughs> disenfranchised with uh, preferred weapons nowadays, so you know. Yeah, realistically, I think these banners would be better off if like one unit gets a preferred weapon, everyone else gets inheritables. But yeah, as far yeah. as inheritables go, if you don't have a preferred weapon, like I'm thinking Skaha here, yeah, and you got a lot of defense, this honestly is pretty okay. And attack speed ideal three and odd tempest three as well. Decent options for an A and C skill if you really want, you know. <laughs> You yeah, for the most move part. an extra space. Hey, why not? So, Rinka. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I, I I never had much luck with using her in Fates. So. Uh, yeah, she. Uh, despite the fact that she's uh, very buff, she doesn't do a lot of damage. But no, if you looked at like not. the oh. stat thing, the st uh, the stat preview, they had a minus eight to attack and defense. So. Oh yeah, you're right. Look at that. <laughs> That would be right up there. 40 defense. Uh, yeah, that's 40 defense. All right, cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> let's Unless move on. it's taking into account like the flame Goonbye's attack defense plus five. So it's either 40 or 35. Whatever. Not too bad. And now we have our duo or whatever unit. I forget what it's called. Uh, harmonic. Harmonic, that's right. Because whenever it's, you know. Oh. And now I just realized that we have... Uh, Peony as well, who is just kind of there. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. Uh, none of these units did I actually expect for like a flame tribe banner. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> like everyone else is pretty like martially focused. They're like pretty focused around garnering physical strength. Tana's never been about that, and Peony's a literal fairy. Uh, Pe I think we just, just wanted like option, high but... femininity in this. Yeah. Like, otherwise, muscle banner. And we need to slip in a, uh, you know, an OC character just to make sure. We oh, get yes, more this is usage. true. So it, it makes sense in some regard. Uh, so Kindling Tycho, uh, slaying effect as always. At start of turn, grants Kanto 1 to unit and allies within two spaces of the unit for one turn. That, oh, wow. That is pretty interesting. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a fun one. Um, at the start of combat, 
if unit's HP is, of course, above 25% or equal to... If unit exists. If unit exists, pretty much. Attack and speed plus 6 to unit during combat. Neutralize effects that prevent follow-up attacks. And also... If unit initiates combat against a blue, green, or colorless foe, grants bonus to unit's attack during combat equal to 20% of unit's attack at the start of combat, and inflicts a penalty on foe's attack during combat equal to 20% of foe's attack at the start of combat. Oh god, that's a lot. (laughs) My brain just exploded. (laughs) Alright, let's try and break this down. So we got the slaying, we have the drive Kanto 1, which is really cool for people who don't want to use, like, Florid Cane. Yeah. Uh, if unit exists, attack speed plus six and offensive null follow up, which is always nice. Very good. If unit's not at weapon triangle disadvantage, essentially is what that condition is. As long as the enemy doesn't have weapon triangle advantage over yeah. you, you get a bonus to your attack during combat that is equal to twenty percent of the. Yeah, <laughs> essentially you get your attack is multiplied by one point two effectively. It, it's and pretty, you pretty penalize nice. the foe by twenty percent of your own attack. So. You can maybe survive when you're going to hit hard. And yeah. realistically, unless you're like Vector or something, you're not really going to want to fight against weapon triangle advantage. Yeah. So like for the most part, all of those effects will probably go off. Pretty much, I would say. I would say uh, the most interesting part to me is the Kanto effect. That's that's very, very interesting to see as a weapon, you know. But... Yeah, I'd say she's actually pretty competent as a combat unit being a flying dagger and... I mean, I'm assuming she's just going to have boatloads of attack given her weapon. Yeah. And that she can drive Kanto is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. I'm just surprised she's... We have a peony that's not a dancer. I know she's a backpack, but like this is <laughs> kind of nuts. Uh, we we haven't seen the harmonic skill just yet, but you know. <laughs> we'll oh see. crap! You're right. <laughs> it's totally going to be a dance, isn't it? it I, probably knowing knowing that peony's there, she's. She's just going to do that. We also have a new C skill in speed and defense hold, which, I mean, it's it's basically just what rain, but a bit. It's rain, but cooler. cooler. Yes, exactly. Speed and defense. Woohoo. Let's take a look at what that harmonic skill will do then. Off we go. And I, I mean, that was an animation. All right. Oh, uh, grants another action to ally with the highest HP that is within two spaces. Um, uh, uh, w- with of course all re- all that you know explicit stuff with you know dance. You can you can stuff. dance dancers too with this though. Yeah. So I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, it's it's a it's basically what we expected. So and then of yeah. course resonance blades, which well, yeah. Oh yeah, she's got fifty three attack. That's not bad. Yeah, that's oh yeah. More resin right. I would have expected, but thirty. Yeah, fifty three attack is nothing to sne- to sneeze at. Not bad at all, honestly. I think Faye's coming up to the point where, like, they have soft stat ceilings that they don't want to break, so they're having to, like, okay, we can't, like, min-max units too much, otherwise you're just going to have too much of one stat, so... Yeah. You see a lot of units that are just kind of well-rounded, shuffled ever so slightly. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. Ready? And, of course, I guess as the the units that are being pulled in, it's got Erica and Ennis for Tana, and then Triandra for Peony. Yep. Let's I just, take- I really didn't expect Tana here. Yeah, well, also note over here, uh, Mordecai is going to be a free unit. So yeah, which is really cool. People were thinking that it would be Skrimir because of his little headdress, but no. Nope. Uh, for those of you who are just like uh, stupidly knowledgeable about Tellius, you will know that actually, uh, lion lagoons do not show their tail when they are untransformed. <laughs> so, uh, you dumb idiots, it couldn't have been a lion lagoons, and it could have only been a tiger oh lagoons or a cat lagoons. So, ergo, it had to be either Mordecai. Uh, actually, it could have been. Uh, Kesda. Could have been like that one NPC dude that appears in uh, yes. well, 3 8 or something? The weird river crossing chapter. I, I mean we've had we've had liar. weirder we've had weirder character choices, so I mean I wouldn't be surprised if that actually happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mordecai from his silhouette, like we're seeing that he's once again a big giant hands man. Just absolutely <laughs> massive mitts. <laughs> He would he would definitely uh, play basketball pretty well, I would say, with those. Ah, uh, yeah, but no, he'd feel too bad about like accidentally body checking people. Oh man, you're right. <laughs> exactly. Like he'd knock one guy over and then he'd just retire from the league. <laughs> he'd be like, oh, okay, can't do that again. I'm sorry. 
but underwater no. basket weeding time. <laughs> but yeah, Sage, so what, what do you think about this banner? Anyone? I, I really like Moose Fell. I I know that you know it's just kind of weird, but I like his art. His, his I liked his art style before, just because it was over the top. But yeah, this one, this time he's not only that he's a colorless dragon, which just it's fun. Um, he, he's probably who I would go for. How about you? Uh, as if I have to that's, ask. That's a, that's a very dumb question. You should feel ashamed <laughs> for even asking it. Uh, my answer is Bufflin. Thank of you. Of course, yes. He's probably not going to be that great of a unit, but hey, uh, now I can run an entire brigade of Lins, and you can't stop me. I mean, just look at her. She's yay. She's... <laughs> Lance infantries. I can. I now have a defensive Lin. Hooray! <laughs> I don't. Uh, seriously though, I don't think there's anyone on this banner that is uh, vital to pull yeah. either for fodder or as a unit themselves. I would say this uh, would be a banner that you know you would want to go because you like the character. Obviously. Yeah, realistically, you can skip this if you are like a a big dragon enthusiast. Maybe pick up Dragon's Wrath Four if you just want the piss ring for your B skills. But <laughs> that would really only be if you wanted a dual skill. You'll probably. I, I can't see Mordecai's not going to have an inheritable weapon, so I, I don't necessarily say, think he'll have much value. It, it, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. He's a beast unit, so therefore he will. Yeah, so it's just going to be his skills, and uh, uh, IS never gives good skills for inheritance. So. I didn't even <laughs> think about that. I, I, you know, I think, oh, God, I'm trying to think of Nasala, of course, and things like that were, you know, free units, and it's just so weird with that. But I, yeah, it, unfortunately, Mordecai's not royalty. He's just big tiger man <laughs> well at least we can take pride in the fact that this artist cubone i'm kidding <laughs> uh, i don't care you get you, fuck it you made lynn shredded thanks thanks good stuff all right yes i need to thank head you for out. appealing to me specifically <laughs> i anyway I need... <laughs> doodle my dudes thanks yep, for coming so, out so as always guys i just want to say thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like um check out jake as well he he streams on twitch occasionally when he isn't sick which, yeah, when I'm not dying of a plague. Um, his link uh, for both his Twitter and his Twitch are in the description, as always. And uh, come hang and out on our Discord eye. and all that fun stuff. What? And, and maybe keep an eye out on this channel. Ooh, maybe Ooh. there's something coming in the future. Yeah, Ooh. there is something, something pretty big. All righty, guys. Anyway, take care. Yep.